All right. So this first section is going to focus on the things that you should think about, the premeditations necessary for coming into photography, no matter what it is. So um, you need to work on your acceptability before anything else. This means you need to understand the laws of the place that you are in. In Zimbabwe, there's a law that a person does street photography with a license. This license costs $20 and it lasts you the whole year and uh, you get a media card or a media type license for as an additional $17. This lets you be able to have your camera out when the president passes by or something like this and his uh, security guards don't come up to you and start trying to confiscate your camera and say, hey, exactly what is your intention here? Um, you can just exist in peace. So the very first step to being a photographer, you'll find, is existence. You must become acceptable to the environment around you. There's a legal element to this, and there is a cultural element to this. Um, there's a reason why I feel more comfortable in Zimbabwe taking photos than I do anywhere else, even though I make more money in different places. In Zimbabwe, I know the culture. I know that I'm not offending you in any extraordinary way when I speak to you, um, when I perhaps shake your hand with my left hand. Whereas in Nigeria, if I shake your hand with my left hand, I might be offending you. If I receive something from you with my left hand, I might be offending you. So there's the legal element which you need to research. Uh, my suggestion is typing into an AI uh, the questions that you have and it directing you towards where you find the law. Um, or if you'd like to be a bit more hands-on, which is more accurate actually, uh, go through that internet yourself, find out the laws of your country, and uh, failing that, and no, in fact, supplementary to that, find an actual photographer who actually exists within your realm, and ask him, hey, do I need to have a license to take photos here? Like, what are, what are, the, what are the implications of wanting to be a photographer here? So, become acceptable. Um, <clears throat> I have a friend, and uh, she owns a food stand. She sells to students at a particular campus. And what happened to her several times was she would have all the food from her stand confiscated and just taken away by the police. <clears throat> the reason being, she would never pay for her license. Her license costs 30 US dollars, and the license lasts the entire year. She had $700 of stock taken from her. It doesn't sound correct to approach the very first thing, um, or rather, it doesn't sound correct to have the very first thing that you do be release money towards getting a license, which is not a profitable thing. However, you're not working on profit just yet. You're working on simply existing. And it does take exertion to exist. So get your license. Make sure that you understand the law. Um, should you be in Johannesburg, probably you can just take out your camera and take photos wherever you are, because the law there, at least at present, or when I did check out the law recently, was that uh, street photography can just be done. and you could even publish any photo taken on the street. Only, only thing is, though, uh, know where you are. I was very comfortable taking photos in South Africa, in Joburg, doing street photography. In fact, the top picture in my portfolio is a street portrait. Simply because um, <clears throat> the reason I like street photography is you can make friends and meet people, which you'll find out about more in this course. However, um, I also got to know the environment as quickly as possible. I made friends with people way before I, let out, I took out my camera, 
I also observed the environment. There were photographers who already had cameras. So should I take out mine? It's already safe. Um, that's in Randburg. However, let's say you're not somewhere where there are already established photographers. Sort of make friends with the people in the area. Sort of gauge it out. See how you feel about it. Should you feel comfortable, take out your camera and make friends and meet people. Assuming you're doing street style photography in the form of portraiture. The very first thing that you're going to work on is acceptability and um, <clears throat> security. Uh, make sure that wherever you are, um, this is my tendency, I'll try to, instead of doing conventional street photography, unless I'm ultra familiar with that street, I'll try to be in a club or be in a restaurant or be somewhere where my target market would be. However, oh yeah, I'll try to be somewhere where my target market would be and I'd make sure that the staff is friends with me and the bouncers are friends with me so that should some odd person want to attack you, and you'll find plenty of odd people want to attack you. You are inherently brilliant. You're an artist, and to some extent, you are shaping people's image of the world. You're shaping people's image of the world, the spirit that you put into your photos. The spirit that you put into your photos can change someone's outlook on life, even. So realize that you are actually not only powerful, you are the greatest power that is. Protect yourself as the greatest power that is.